Hello everyone and a very warm welcome to Economics Media. So today we are here with the second part of Mundan Flaming Modern that we have discussed earlier. Well, uh, in the previous part uh, we have discussed with the uh, flexible exchange rate regime and we have discussed both the policies for the monetary and for the fiscal as well and we have discussed in, in uh, great details with the help of uh, diagrams as well as the required theory. If any one of you is interested, you can click on the right side of the link that is visible on your screen and visit the session. So coming back to today's session, it is about the exchange rate, but here the exchange rate is fixed. So uh, in the previous session also I've discussed that once the exchange rate is fixed, then one of the thing can only be exogenous. What I mean to say, is that under uh, fixed exchange rate regime here we have the exchange rate it is obviously fixed or exogenous in nature okay but the money supply this is here flexible so where from where this thing is coming this is basically from the impossible trinity. Stay tuned to economics media because what is this impossible trinity will be getting covered by us very soon in the upcoming sessions. So I will request you to stay tuned to us. Now, so this is the basic scenario that exchange rate in this situation is fixed. That is exogenous in nature. Let me just write it exogenous in nature i hope you understand and this money supply so this is flexible so this this becomes the endogenous in nature okay and i hope you remember what is the real exchange rate that is the domestic uh, currency divided by the foreign currency so this is rupee by dollar i'm just writing it okay so this thing is also important in order to understand the exchange demand and flaming model under fixed exchange rate regime okay this is the basic i hope everyone is okay now let's move towards the uh, policies that is first we'll be discussing the monetary policy and then towards the end we'll be moving towards the fiscal policy all right so starting with the monetary policy as i have said that uh, under fixed exchange rate money supply is the only variable which is endogenous in nature and the exchange rate is exogenous. So with the help of a diagram, I'm going to explain it to you again. Just like the previous session we did. So here I'm measuring the interest rate. And this is output. Okay. So let this be the initial LM curve, LM0. And this is the initial IS curve, IS0. And I'm also assuming that my... Uh, BP curve, that is the balance of payment curve, is uh, perfectly mobile. So along with this, I'm assuming that the BP curve, that is the balance of payment curve, is perfectly capital mobile. That is why it is perfectly horizontal, perfectly parallel to the horizontal axis. Okay, so here the, all the three curves are meeting and let this be point number one equilibrium point and let this be r star what is r star r star is basically the world rate of interest okay so initial output is at y1 now let us assume that since we are take, talking about the monetary policy first so let's assume that the government is taking up loan So if government takes up the loan, that means what the money supply of the particular economy is increasing and ultimately the LM curve shifts rightward. So let the new equilibrium uh, LM curve be LM1. Now after shifting of the LM curve on the right side, we find that the new LM curve and the old IS curve are intersecting at a point. Let, I, let me denote the point as point number 2. And here you can see that the output has undoubtedly increased from Y1 to Y2. Now an interesting thing that you should note is that at point 2, the rate of interest has 
fallen from R star to R1. So due to this, we find that the rate of interest has fallen, that is R star is greater than R1. So what is this R1? R1 is basically the domestic rate of interest and R star is the world rate of interest. Now since the domestic rate of interest has fallen below the world rate of interest, what will happen? The domestic investors will find the uh, foreign market to be much more attracting in order to invest since the return is higher in the foreign market. So simply because of this thing that the domestic rate of interest being lower than the rate, uh, world rate of interest, the domestic investors are investing outside of the domestic market. Okay, so here the domestic investors invest outside the domestic market and since this is happening um, ultimately we can find that in our country that in, uh, in the domestic country there will be a crunch of the uh, foreign exchange currencies isn't it suppose I'm taking an example that India is uh, in India, suppose the rate of interest has reduced to R1, but the world rate of interest is R star. So because of this difference, the domestic investors, is the Indian investors are finding the outside market more attractive. So because of this, what is the universal uh, currency that is ac accepted? Not rupee certainly, but dollar. So because of this acceptance of dollar, the uh, demand for dollar increases. Okay, so that means the foreign currency's demand is here increasing. That means there is an excess demand for the foreign currency. Okay, now due to this excess demand of foreign currency that I just mentioned, because of this, what is happening is that the government can look at its foreign exchange reserve, FER. And here the government will find that since the government is unable to change the exchange rate, that means in the uh, previous case, that is the flexible exchange rate regime, we have found that under this scenario, uh, by simply depreciating the exchange rate will, uh, would solve the case. But here since the exchange rate is fixed in nature, the government cannot allow the exchange rate to change. So what will government do? Government will have to come to this FER. Foreign Exchange Reserve. So government will uh, take up the money, that is the domestic money from the market and in return of that the government will give up the dollar or the foreign currency. So what the government is basically doing is that government allows its foreign exchange reserve to deplete in order to satisfy the demand for the foreign exchange. Okay, so how this whole thing will happen? This will happen in exchange of the domestic currency. That means government will take up the uh, rupee. Since in our example, we have taken up the India and other countries. So the government will take up rupee from the market. And in return of that, the government will give away the dollars. So because of this, since I'm talking about taking away of the rupee. So that's why the LM curve shifts back to its original position that is from LM1 the LM curve shifts to LM0. So finally from LM1 to LM0 and at LM0 obviously the rate of interest has increased from R1 to R star that is interest rate has finally find its place at its original level. And, but again, we find that the output level has also decreased from Y2 to Y1, isn't it? So, after all this discussion, what we can conclude is that monetary policy under fixed exchange rate is fully ineffective. So, this is a very important area from where most of the MCQs come into place, even in the cases of uh, net you just see many multiple type questions can come up from this area that is which policy is effective under which situation so you need to remember that 
and if the question pattern is subjective of nature then you have to explain it with the help of a diagram as well make sure you explain each and everything but in a very concise way because there is a time crunch you cannot invest most of your time in explaining the diagram and you know miss out on the major part so be careful on that okay so this is about the monetary policy which is completely ineffective under the fixed exchange rate now we move towards the fiscal policy and let's see what happens in that okay so here we are with the fiscal policy i've drawn the diagram which is the initial situation let me again explain it to you so this is the ln naught and i is not curve and this is vp curve and the equilibrium is taking place at point 1 where output is y1 and of course the rate of interest is at the global rate of interest that is r star now we assume that the fiscal policy has been taken place let there be fiscal expansion so due to this fiscal expansion which curve is going to move of course the is curve to the right side let's move it so is1 to that part the curve has shifted now see this is the point let me mark it as point number two where the initial ln curve and the final is curve are intersecting right so here we find the output undoubtedly has increased but again the rate of interest here has increased as compared to the domestic rate of interest so due to fiscal policy i have shown you that is has shifted right side and due to this ultimately we are finding the domestic rate of interest to be higher than the global rate of interest now from here our discussion starts what will happen now in according to our example that i have explained uh, that i have taken up in the case of monetary policy with respect to india so for india if the domestic rate of interest is higher than the world rate of interest so what will happen is that domestic investors but along with them the foreign investors will find it very much interesting to invest in the country of india since the return is higher than the world rate of interest because of this relationship between the domestic and the world rate of interest every investor of the domestic country as well as the abroad as well as from the abroad everyone is finding an interest to invest in our country in the domestic country that is india according to our example so because of this thing what will happen is that so because of this thing the capital inflow will be created and ultimately there will be surplus in the capital account okay since everyone is investing here so naturally there will be a surplus but now we have mentioned already that the exchange rate is fixed under this scenario it can be it would be easily corrected had been the exchange rate flexible now since we are talking about the fixed exchange rate regime we cannot that means the government cannot allow the exchange rate to adjust automatically and although the exchange rate will not adjust even because it is fixed in nature so what the government can do to adjust this this equilibrium in the situation that is existing right now that is there is a surplus the bp curve is not at zero isn't it when the bp curve is going to be zero when the capital account and the current account are uh, cancelling each other out then only the bp curve it will be at zero otherwise there will be for surplus or deficit in the bp curve that is the balance of payment account as well so that's why i'm saying that this disequilibrium has to be corrected but how this will be you know, corrected by change in the level of money supply because that is the only factor which is endogenous under this fixed exchange rate regime so that's why in the starting of this session only i have mentioned you the exogenous and the endogenous variable this is the reason that you need to keep in mind so due to this surplus what the government will do again the foreign exchange reserve so here the government will increase the money supply and take up the dollars 
from the market that is the foreign currencies from the market okay since there is a surplus in capital account that means foreign investors are also investing in our country and how in what terms the foreign investors are investing that is in dollar so government will take up the dollar and in exchange of that the government will increase the money supply of the country so fer will increase and this is causing the lm not to shift to lm1 shift to lm1 and once the lm curve is shifting i'm so sorry okay so here the lm not is shifting to lm1 now because of this thing we can find that ultimately the lm1 has shifted right side and the equilibrium is taking place at point number 3 and the rate of interest is again equated with the r star which is the previous situation and the output has further increased to y3 okay so in my concluding lines i can say that under this fixed exchange rate regime fiscal policy has been seen to be fully effective and there is no crowding out because there has been further increase in the level of output but the rate of interest has come down to its original situation that is r star all right so this is the full uh, discussion on the Mandel Fleming model in my two sessions I have discussed it I hope you find the two sessions will really have effective in your preparation and in your understanding of the subject as well I really hope this session was helpful to you and if it was show us your support by hitting the like button and if you are new to our channel do not forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you never miss any update from our channel thank you very much have a good day